All right. <clears throat> so today we're gonna be drawing a little fox. It's, it's really, oh man. Anyway, so we what we do, we start off with a giant circle. Beautiful. They make a little box right here. Actually, the circle's a bit too big. Let's just erase that circle. An important thing to m remember when you're drawing is that it's never gonna be perfect. I roughly make this circle about the size of the box. Yeah, that's good enough. Maybe a bit bigger. All right. Next up, we wanna draw the legs. The legs are very simple. You start off there, you draw a little shoulder, and then a circle for the paw. Look at that. For the back leg, you wanna start up here, work your way back, and back again like a zigzag. And draw another paw roughly on the same line as that. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just art. Now you want to start fleshing out the front leg. We're going to do the tail later. Art is rarely perfect, so just don't worry about it if it's bad. The back leg, just make sure it doesn't touch the top. That's a big key for the back leg. Whereas for back here, you kind of want to head back out. And then in... And the back leg is a bit thicker when it touches the ground, a bit longer. Try not to make it too jagged, but that's okay. Now I like to do the head next. For the muzzle, you kind of want to split the head in half. And then draw a little tiny cone. This cone basically uh, defines your wolf fox thing, so it really depends on what you want to do. We can go long, you can make it go down, kind of curve upwards at the bottom. It's a bit too big as it's basically the size of the head. So for this drawing, let's just do just a tiny muzzle. Look at that. It's a bit too thick, but it's okay. Ears. It's the fun part. Boop and boop. Just a nice little triangle coming off the head. For the inside ear fluff, we're also gonna add some fluff over here too. So we're gonna go down. Just kind of make it go back and then down as well. Add some hair floof. For the chest, you kind of want that the belly, head down and then head up, kind of like a little diagonal curve. Oh my god, the cat's here. Go away. Yeah, you can climb on my laptop, just don't break it. Oh dear. Don't fall. Okay, just, just get off, Pebble. Off. You're gonna break something. Just... <sighs> Fine, you can stay up there. Now for the basic back shape, you wanna start, oh my God, stupid cat. Well, for the back, you, I'm better at drawing than explaining. For back here, the rump, you kinda wanna follow the circle of the leg and then head off straight into the tail. Make the tail big and bushy. Everyone loves bushy tails. Again, art isn't perfect, so it just takes a while to just do. You can erase some of the lines up here, it's just gonna get in the way. You want to add a little tiny shoulder line. It's just there, it really helps a lot. 
Um, for the eyes, we're just going to clear up a little tiny spot up here. And also when drawing the head fluff down here, you want to leave a space that is open right there. Again, I don't know why it works, but it just looks, it makes it look better. For the mouth, just go ham and make him smiling. Look at that. And for the eyes, well, I can't draw eyes, so I'm just going to do what I normally do. A line, an oval-ish shape, and a dot. I'm going to smooth this out a bit. I don't like the look of that. Try to erase as much as possible to make it look good, because at the end we're going to go over it with markers, so it won't really matter. To give it a bit of 3D depth, we're going to draw a line here. Just a nice little silhouette of the leg. For the back leg, we can draw the silhouette here. Doesn't matter. We'll just do it back there. I'm feeling like back there would be good today. Flatten the paws a bit. Add a little nose. I don't like that nose. Let's try again. We can make it a bit like 3D-ish, like popping out of the original muzzle. There we go. Now you get out your fine liner marker if you have one. I have these really cool ones I got from Five Below. They work really well, except when you put them in a washing machine. Just trace over the important lines. There we go. And try to make the mouth and eye lines slightly more defined. Nose, fill that in. And neck floof. All right, leg. Real hot tip, do not experiment with your marker pen because you can't erase your marker. Whereas with pencil, you can always erase it and go back. All right, back leg. I'm gonna stop it up there. This is your behind. <laughs> Let's start off with the tail down here. I'm gonna work our way back up. Might as well draw the back leg now and fill in the silhouettes. All right, work on the back a little bit. And finally, the back neck fluff. Oh, and don't forget that little dot for the shoulder. Look at that. Now we're gonna let this dry for a few seconds. Because the last thing you wanna do is start erasing and then the marker smudges everywhere. We can start working on the head because we didn't marker that in. We markered that in first, so I had plenty of time to dry. Go ham. Well, anyways, here we can see our basically finished product. Again, we probably didn't wait long enough for the marker to dry, so we have these random lines over here. And we also have some pencil stuff still left in the paper that was more difficult to erase. That's okay. All right. Now we're gonna go steal some of my sister's markers.
All right, so I picked up some of my sister's colors. This is gonna be fun. When drawing with markers, always test it out, preferably on a margin where it's not in the way, and just see what colors you're working with. That way you don't start markering in right away and you don't like the colors. Let's see, which color looks more like a red fox? That's what I wanna draw today. All these markers to choose from. Ooh, that's a good one. I think I'm gonna go with that color right there. Uh, these are my sister's markers, the Ahu brand. They're really unique as in when you use them, it doesn't leave marks when you go over the same spot. I'll show you guys in a bit later. When you want to draw in with markers, it's best to make outlines of where you want things to be. There we go. Add, make sure you add some cheek fluff too. And if you want to do white underbelly, try to connect it with the top of the arm right there and just have it go down in front. Don't forget to add the white belly fluff over here. start markering. As you can notice, these markers don't really leave streaks when they're mixed together. It just kind of blends in continuously. Always try to draw in sections too, as if you're drawing larger pieces, some sections might dry faster than the other, so they won't really look, well, well you'll be able to tell which sides were done first and which ones were done later. But since this is a fairly small piece, we don't really have to worry about that, as it's basically all still drying. that dry for a few seconds or minutes and then I'm thinking it'd be best to go with that gray color for the white for the inside of the ear we can probably go with that one up there that color right there you can probably just go with it with it right now start working on the tail. The underbelly fluff. And finally the muzzle and front. finishing touches and let's see it was this marker yeah there we go and we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna come back with an eraser all right so I've let it dry for about 40 seconds you can hopefully start erasing and not have any artifacts show up such as those down there from last time erase some of this uh -oh. A bit stubborn it doesn't want to come off because the markers on top of it but that's okay oh well a little outline never hurt anyone